Okay, good morning. Okay, guys, uh, we are now... So, what kind of egg this is this, sir? This is a model of Konsberg. Of Konsberg. Konsberg. Okay. KSM. Okay, KSM. So, so, today, we're going to demonstrate how to check the information concerning own ship such as dimensions so how can we do that sir so first of all you just need to click the button this one on ship button okay all information are shown here first is data position of ship, ship okay. parameters oh. and the including ship parameter isn't it yes okay. so you just click this data in order to check the information concerning about the ship yes okay Okay, so position, heading, speed through the water, OG, the set and drip actually. Okay, we can, uh, the act this can calculate it automatically. Okay, how about to set GNSS antenna? GNSS okay. antenna, you go to the sensors, it's Sensor. just right down, uh, right below okay. the on shift data. Again, go to the sensors. So, on ship. On ship, yes, on ship. On ship, then it will give us a drop down menu. Okay. The sensors. Okay, uh, just click this one. Okay. So, GNSS is concerning about the GPS, right? Yep. So, here. Global navigation system. Satellite the GPS. System. So, okay. it says that uh, we have uh, the input one. of GPS 1, yes. Ah, okay. Thank so, in order to confirm this, you do the visual or oh. to check to check by celestial the, navigation yeah celestial or terrestrial how about demonstrate the usage of uh, facilities provided for measurement and range oh this is EVL and BRM yes EVL and BRM um, again uh, with that uh, particular matter you need to go to the tools, tools. just click here yeah the one that uh, in the button or the cursor so there you go EVL and BRM. And there are the drop down menu and you just click this. How can you apply it on the click and you just click new. New. Then you can you point can, it on yes. the chart. You can see the Can are, you drag it? Yes. Okay. Yes, and you mouse. can also change the range, isn't it? Yes. Including the bearing. Okay. You, by cha change you can change it by holding the mouse. Okay. And also the range. Okay. As you can see here, the information or the label are also there you go mm -hmm. <coughs> bearing for the bearing the bearing and the range okay. okay the range yes you can also put it manually okay yes manually now that's okay. all or you can drag it how about switch uh, between primary position sensor and secondary position sensor so with regards to the sensor again you need to click uh, here the on ship primary what is this position this one okay that's the primary. same 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 okay get OS position this one manually this manually can, yes one yes this one this one this one okay that's manually and uh, you can input here okay but the GPS is you the, can choose if you want to GPS or manual manual yes yes okay. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, that's uh, very nice. How about demonstrate how to access all navigational elements and parameters such as pass track, vector, and position lines? Uh, with this uh, information, we can uh, find it. The system. You just click. Just click the system. Then this one. Always on the right side. Huh? Parameters, parameters setting. and setting. Okay. Click this. So you can see so, past track, ships. So you can edit here if you want zero. That this is per, per minute. Per minute. Yes, yeah. per minute, per minute. So and what do we want? also have a position log here. Yes, position log. And you can go to save folder if you already finish the voyage, isn't it? Yes. Okay, very nice. Okay. The next one is to demonstrate the method used for inserting parallel indexing. Okay, you 
need to go to or click tools click tools then then you need to find the file index line uh, drop down menu so okay. click this okay then this one will uh, pop up on your screen click new click new okay as once as you click this as you can see it there will are lines automatically go to the own ship own ship okay. yes with then, this bearing if then you want another parallel indexing just simply just, just click new then there's another one Okay, so one. you can just adjust, isn't it? Yes. So for uh, bearing, you can, yeah, this yeah. one. You can also adjust bearing manually okay. there. Manually. Okay. And the range is, you see this one, you dra drag, hold your mouse and drag okay. for the range. Parallel indexing is usually very important while transiting in near island, isn't it? Yes. Okay. That's very nice. Indeed. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. It's very easy. Okay. That's all for this topic. Thank you very much.